the National Criminal Court will next week decide on the fate of Kenya's top two leaders, President Uhuru Kenyatta and his deputy William Ruto, when the court deliberates on the trial schedule of Uhuru at a status conference set for Friday. Already the ICC has slapped his deputy William Ruto with a three and a half week mandatory period to appear at The Hague before taking any break. The status conference will also determine Uhuru's request to be allowed to attend his trial through a video link. It is a conference that determines whether the country would have a power vacuum at any point of the trials. Here is Samogina with more details. Kenya. President Uhuru Kenyatta's ICC trial schedule will be set next week during his case status conference. The sitting schedule is part of the agenda of the status conference scheduled for Friday next week at the ICC. Also to be discussed is the request by President Uhuru Kenyatta to be present through his trial that kicks off on November 12th via video link. According to scheduling order and agenda for status conference released by the three-judge bench, the duration of the prosecution case, the procedure for applying for site visits is also part of the agenda. Meanwhile, Deputy President William Ruto's trial will be preceded by a media briefing on the eve of the trial's commencement. It will be a test run for the trials as all parties in the case will be present to set the tone for their cases. ICC prosecutor, the lead defense counsels for Ruto and Joshua Arab Sang, and victims legal representative are required to be present for the joint briefing before what is expected to be as a bare knuckled legal battle. Ruto's trial case has been scheduled to run for three weeks before taking a break. The president of Kenya and myself believe in the rule of law and we believe that justice and truth must finally be found. The country ushers in unprecedented event from the month of September where two of its top leadership will be away for weeks in a foreign country but not on a state visit. The longest the country has gone without a president being two weeks when retired President Moi was in South Africa. But analysts quip Kenyans put themselves in the quagmire of having at least one of its leaders away. It is true that it's still an awkward situation uh, to be in, but uh, you are the, the president of the deputy uh, being outside the country for some other purposes uh, other than running the state. Um, but then, the Kenyans voted knowing that. Nonetheless, pundits say the only risk the ICC trials portend for the country is when a presidential rubber stamp is required to sanction critical national decisions like sending the country to war. The only time you would require the president is if he has to sign something, that something needs the presidential signature and he happens not to be there. Then that's a scenario where you can say now, because if the president signs it, the, the deputy cannot sign eh? Acknowledging that the ICC trials dent the country's image, Professor Mashare Munene says their legitimacy can only be challenged in court, but ruled out a power vacuum saying given the same bench of judges handling the cases, the trials cannot run concurrently. Samogina, KTN, Nairobi.